Hey sports fans, we're back and today we're going to take a look at the sons of the freak himself, a Hall of Fame, four-time All-Pro who was arguably the best to ever play at his position, Randy Moss. When your dad is good enough to have a verb coined after him for how dominant he was at something, Mossed, let's just say being better than dad at his own sport might be a bit of a challenge. Today we're going to examine if any of his football playing sons are up for the challenge of unseating their dad as the best Moss in the family. But first, before we get into all that good stuff, do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on this channel and all the content we drop. All done? Alright, on to our video. Randy Jean Moss. If you were taking the best things from every wide receiver to ever play the game and creating some super receiver, a lot of what we'd be using would be coming from Randy Moss. It's rare that you get a wide receiver with Moss's height that also possesses soft and short hands as well as ankle-breaking routes mixed with the love of the game that gives you the tenacity to be the best at your position. Throw in a blistering 4.2 40-yard dash and vertical that is well over 40 inches and from a defensive coordinator's standpoint, you have the most dangerous receiver to ever step on a football field. Well, from an offensive coordinator's standpoint, too. Randy's Vikings once classically created the Randy ratio because Randy was so good that not getting the ball in his hands was seen as a detriment to the team. Although Moss might not have ended his career on the highest of notes, his peak and record-setting pace before being dealt to the Raiders even had the GOAT Jerry Rice paying attention because had Randy kept his focus, he may be what all these current wide receivers are chasing and not Rice. But not to digress too much, in short, asking either of his kids Thaddeus or Montego to live up to his name may be considered a fool's task, but when you got Moss DNA, you'd be a fool not to try, so let's take a look at how they did. First up, Montego Moss, the youngest son of the 44-year-old Vikings and Patriots legend. The 6'1", 200-pound Montego played wide receiver and defensive back in high school, but made his name a big play threat like his dad with yards per catch averaging over 25 during his senior season at Fork Union Military Academy in Virginia. Montego was a big play machine like his father and known for coming down with tough catches and also routinely burning defenders. He and his quarterback even developed a bond where he'd just throw it up Montego's way and know the wide receiver was coming down with it, even on double coverages. Sound familiar? His 130 receiving yards per game and 14 receiving touchdowns in his final season helped Montego become a first-team All-Star selection as well as being named to the All-Virginia prep team. Fort Union's head coach said that Moss was easily one of their best players and even though he was getting double covered routinely, he still came down with the ball and was their go-to player. His head coach also said Moss was one of the best players to ever play for Fort Union. Montego even made Max Prep's top 10 list of sons of NFL legends. The dude was a baller in high school but only received a few offers based on where he played high school football and accepted an offer to play with Maine in 2020. Just like his dad, Randy, Montego, also known as Tigo, committed to a small school after high school in hopes of turning his opportunity into something much bigger. Arriving at Maine, Montego said he was out to prove he wasn't just the son of Randy Moss and could stand on his own name. In a COVID-shortened season, Moss only appeared in three games and came down with one catch, but the expectations this season for him are reportedly through the roof, with a more regular offseason than last year and a lot of the starters leaving school. From Montego to Randy's older son, Thaddeus Moss, also played on offense like Randy and his younger brother Montego, but Thaddeus opted to play tight end. Standing at 6'2 and 240 pounds, Moss played at four different high schools during his four years of high school, but produced everywhere he went. An athletic tight end with sticky hands, Moss was an asset to each quarterback he played with, and even though he was just a three-star prospect, he was heavily recruited and even turned down the likes of Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Michigan, and Texas A&M. Thaddeus chose NC State because he had to spend the last two years of high school in North Carolina and wanted to make sure he got an opportunity to get on the field. After only accumulating 49 receiving yards as a true freshman, Thaddeus decided to put in his transfer to LSU in 2017 but had to miss the entire 2017 season due to NCAA transfer rules. 2018 would be another lost season for Thaddeus after he suffered a foot injury and was granted a medical redshirt. As a redshirt junior and finally back on the playing field, Moss produced and finished with 47 catches for 570 receiving yards, both of which would be good enough for school records for tight ends. In the Peach Bowl that year, Moss helped his team to a blowout victory with a 62-yard touchdown, and in the national title game, he scored two touchdowns, which helped Joe Burrow tie and break the NCAA single-season record for touchdowns. Moss was also known throughout his college campaign as being a solid route runner with the knack for coming down with big plays. Although far from a burner like his dad or his little brother, Moss was considered a gifted tight end at the collegiate ranks, and many thought he would be a day-two selection in the NFL draft if he decided to enter. 
Moss decided to forego his final season at LSU and make himself draft eligible, but unfortunately for Thaddeus, he went undrafted in 2020 but would be signed by the Washington football team, choosing them over the Bengals and the Patriots. After being waived with an injury designation in August, he would wind up on the team's injured reserve only to be officially cut the following April. After clearing waivers, the Bengals took a flyer on him, reuniting him with Burrow, with many thinking Thaddeus had a chance to push his way up the depth chart and into a starting role. Montego and Thaddeus both have chances to make names for themselves in the same sport their father shined in and were not willing to shut the door on either of them, as Montego has a lot of college football in front of him and Thaddeus will finally be getting a legitimate NFL chance with Cincinnati that he didn't have with the Washington football team. Both talented in their own rights, it wouldn't surprise us if both turned into solid pros. Whether or not they have golden jackets in their future may be a bit unlikely, but with that Randy Moss DNA, we can never say never. All right, sports fans, that does it for our time on the sons of Randy Moss and their potential to eclipse dear old dad. Let us know what you think about Randy's son's chances of being NFL starters by dropping us a comment below. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, do us a favor and click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our content and receive more videos just like this. Until next time, sports fans.